So guys, um, I didn't plan to do this video right now. Um, you could guess by how I'm going to title it, what it's going to be about. Um, but I'm having my coffee break and I'm doing the readings and it's the retrograde coming up and what's coming out. All these X's. <laughs> Let's use some cards, shall we? Seeing as I did in the, my X didn't return in the retrograde. Um, but my ex returned. Dun, dun, dun. I wish I had an editor to be like, dun, 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 and I, you know, all those fancy things other YouTubers have. So, should I take him back is the question. I know the answer. I'm going to talk through it with the cards. The attraction. The attraction, is it there? You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, in the My Ex Didn't Return video, which is also on my channel, if you click on my channel, it's usually the first video that starts playing because I feel like that video has the most to give, okay? As a general read, it has the most to give. So, back to My Ex Returning. Attraction. I attracted romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So, what does this mean? When we maybe want our ex to return in the retrograde and they don't return, the divine isn't going to let anybody into our life. Our higher self is not going to let anybody in. The time's not going to be right to let them in until the vibrations are right on both ends. So that's you healed as well as them healed. Okay, so the attraction is there. The pull to each other is still there but you are divinely protected when they're not coming back oh this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so as i'm talking about somebody who i already know um this is why this card's come out somebody um i consider to be the one um, so that brings me to, should you be with the one if either of you are not ready? No, I don't believe so. Um, and the thing is, when I said the divine will keep you separate until... It... Wow, right on cue, the ex calls. <laughs> don't think so. Um, wow, it won't turn off. Um, so, do I feel like we should get back together when neither of us are ready? No. So, why did he come back if neither of us are ready? So, I feel like this is a test. I'm being tested. Now the divine knows that I am strong enough to be like, no, until you're ready, I don't accept you. Okay? So, the cards at the moment, and I want to show you like this and explain my situation so that you can see how um, the cards will manifest for you when watching general readings. So, let's get one more, shall we? So, like, the pull to each other is still there. Only now, um, the divine can not pr still protect me but not um, overly protect, like, because I was in a weaker state, and I always get people asking me, oh, you know, about that video, oh, you're so vulnerable, you know, I was, and that's why I needed the protection, same for you is what I believe, if you have just broke up, or, you know, you're just going through it, maybe you even broke up a year ago, and, um, you know, you're still vulnerable, you're still like, I want my ex back and things like that, and you're not fully healed yourself. What you need to do is be fully honest with yourself here. Um, because if they come back during the retrograde and you're not ready, they will come in and they will leave just as fast. It'll be a quick union um, because you're not ready or they're not ready. Um, I feel I'm more ahead ready than he is, if he will ever be in this lifetime, but, um, I still feel like, you know, the situation's not right here. So 
I'm still like, okay, now I'm at a point where I'm blocking it. And I feel like I owed you this, you guys, this reading, um, because I do the Scorpio video. My ex is a Capricorn. So every time I see it in the Scorpio video, I'm like, ah, and then everybody's like, why do you hate Capricorns? I don't hate Capricorns. I just know my situation. Trust. Now I trust myself to make the right decisions for myself. This situation involves, is calling for me to have faith. And I do. And in the beginning, you can say, I have faith in the divine and it will bring that inner divine. You have to have this faith and trust in yourself that what's meant for you will not pass you by. Okay. And it would never pass you by if it's meant for you. And you just got to be absolutely honest with yourself so that you then regain trust in yourself as well as another person. Because often we can forgive other people a lot quicker than we forgive ourselves. And we trust them again. And, you know, then our, our trust is affected because then we're not trusting ourselves to make the right decision for ourselves. So, yeah, this situation involves trust here. So let me get the Gilded Tarot deck here. So, yeah, why won't the Divine let your ex come back into your life at this time? Um, when you're ready to be able to recognise if a person's healed or not, that's the right time a time where you can be tested. Um, am I going to make the same mistake twice? Am I going to, you know, let them back during a retrograde and then things, you know, come down and we go take a step backwards? Because that's what happens in a retrograde. Um, we can take a step backwards. So what we actually want to do with the energy is slow down, slow down and take another look at things Um by all means, but don't like jump into situations during retrogrades here. So let's see here for me. Scorpio transformation. So what's happened now? Why is my ex returning now? I've transformed. I've transformed my energy here. Um, I've raised my vibrations from where I was at. I'm a lot more happier than where I was, um, a lot more trusting of myself from where I was. And now this energy can transform. The situation can transform. So for us Scorpios, we could see this daily, daily, like we really can transform daily. Um, so, yeah, I've, there's the old person, there's the death of the old me there. Um, and we need that. We need like to reinvent ourselves, transform ourselves, let the old part of us die here. And in the first reading, my ex didn't return in the retrograde. Um, you will see me saying like, um, what's the card? I'm um, getting to know them. And I was like, OK, but I know them. No, we've all transformed. We've changed. Like, the old part of me is gone. Okay? So, quite fitting for the reading here. You know, there's an ending to how I viewed the situation. Ten of Swords. The difficulties are over now. Like, the betrayal, the heartache, anything like that. All that is over with now. I wasn't deterred um, by this. So I can see this coming to an end. I can see, you know, the, the light at the end of the tunnel here. People see the Ten of Swords and like say, yes, that was that pain I felt, that ultimate betrayal. Yeah, well, that's over now. It's about not being deterred, about brighter days are coming, you know, about when you've climbed this mountain, you can now, you're at the peak of it and you can see over the top of it. You can see those good things coming. And that's my energy transformed there also.
two of pentacles. So awesome, you know, um, positive energy. Um, but it's not really forward movement, but it's not stepping back either. So my ex returned. Am I moving forward? Not at this time. You know, things are still up in the air here as if I would accept somebody back um, when their vibration matches my vibration. Still, I have my own free will here. So still, this is like up in the air. This is still undecided, but a decision will be made, it's saying. And that could be me just deciding to continue, you know, looking ahead, transforming, raising my vibrations, things like that. The Ace of Cups. So now um, this self-love like I said in the first reading, this comes out also. I'll put a link down below for you guys. But the Ace of Cups, um, you know, was in the first reading as well. And it was about self-love and about filling that cup for yourself. And this is now like, um, this in this deck, it's about awakening of even the third eye here, um, spiritual you know, lessons, um, psychic abilities, opening more and more and being at different phases, as you can see with the moon here. But I would agree that I've refilled my cup here of love for myself, um, self-worth and self-respect and self-love here. So, yeah, um, I've, I've been through, you know, all this dark side of the moon and I've been through, you know, the full moons. And I'm transforming that energy and not trying to rush it, okay? That's the two of pentacles there. So, love remains and an offer has of love has been made. So, we know Ace is about opportunity. So... Yeah, I've received an offer um, of love here. But look, I'm quite happy and abundant on my own here. Nine of Pentacles. Like, I'm just enjoying this time alone to work on me, even work on my finances, work on things that are important to me, that keep me healthy and happy, um, you know, getting out in nature, even look at her with the thingy, and there's always a butterfly there for me that, you know, as a sign, um, but look, like, she's happy, she's independent, so was the offer here accepted? You guys tell me. I'm quite happy on my own at the moment. I think people think like, oh, you know, if there's an offer of love, you should accept it. I'll trust myself to accept new or old offers of love. But right now, I'm happy doing my thing, getting to know myself here. You know, because <laughs> like I said, um, you know, I've changed. So I need to get to know myself all over again. I was rebuilding myself into who I wanted to be. I'm trying to, you know, I didn't let this opportunity um, drag me down. Well, I did sort of, but I decided this time to reinvent myself who I wanted to be. So, you know, we all go through these deaths and these changes um, with who we are. So I let the tower come all the way down to be able to rebuild myself and who I want to be and who I see myself being. So a very unique opportunity came with the tower moments and the death card. Only this time when I went through the tower and the death card, what happened was um, rather than freaking out about it, I was like, I'm at a perfect opportunity to rebuild myself now into who I want to be. So it is like getting to know myself and this is what attracts this, okay? 
new or old, it attracts it because I'm now like in a higher vibration and I'm happy and this I have for myself, you know, and it's not because I, my life's been so easy. No, I went through these difficulties. I went through these transformations. And before, if I would have seen this in my reading and was like, I'm at a standstill, um, it would have sort of freaked me out, but it's not, I'm true. It's now my choice. It's now my choice that things are not moving ahead, that I don't accept this offer so lightly. And I trust myself. And I, before I was like, why do all my other exes return in the retrograde? What's going on here? Mm -hmm. The Wheel of Fortune. So this is wonderful. Things really have turned around for me. So when I'm telling you guys like, um, the Wheel of Fortune, things are going to turn around. Maybe when you're at this moment, you know, the ending or while you're traveling through the dark night of the soul and the transformation, it doesn't feel like things can turn around. And that's when you've got to have that faith and that trust in yourself and love. Okay. Things have turned around for me. This is good fortune now coming in for me, which I'm so happy about. Could even be a contract coming in for me. Um, somebody asking me to sign a contract or something like that. Um, but yeah, so, you know, things was down here with the situation when I felt now I've turned things around and brought them to the positive here. And, um, you know, when you're down, the only way is up. So if you're feeling down or, you know, things like that, the only way is up. If you feel at rock bottom, it's the best place to build. If you feel like you've lost your identity, become who you want to be. You can choose. You decide. And I did this because I feel like I owe you guys an explanation. Oof, I'm coming across quite bitchy, shall we say. <laughs> um, Queen of Swords there. So my moon sign is in Aquarius, as you all know. Um, I love to learn things about everything. Um, obviously, I'm a Scorpio. We like to learn about the weird, um, the things like that. But this is um, can be the divorcee. Somebody who's been through it, like I'm telling you guys, I have been through it. But what I gained from this was self-respect. The Queen of Swords demands self-respect. Yet all is not lost with her, even though she's been through it, you know, lost a love, you know, had difficult times here, um, like with the Ten of Swords here. But, you know, all is not lost. Quite the opposite, actually. You know, I've now gained this experience here with the Queen of Swords. I've gained enlightenment. Look at the end of her sword lit up. Clarity even. A lot of knowledge as well here with the Queen of Swords. I've gained a lot of knowledge about myself about how I learn oh look at this it was the night of wands reverse so somebody tried to came in and got stopped in their tracks by um this queen of swords like eh -eh. <laughs> don't come into me with that energy somebody might have wanted a booty call there but no it's not happening with this queen of swords around she's like come good come in a better energy come as um, the emperor, if you like, but don't come at me with this knight of wands reversed because you'll get shut down real quick. That's anybody. So, yeah, if you just feel like you're going to have, you know, some fun, it's not here. Not here, okay? So, yeah, it's the knight of wands reversed there. So, you know, action, somebody trying to take action and somebody halting the action there bringing things to a standstill uh oh uh oh look at that somebody feels out in the cold now i've been out there 
I've been out in the cold. Um, like also the Queen of Wands here. I'll put her out in a second. Um, so the feeling of lack. Um, I have a lack of nighttime activities that you know Scorpios like. Um, choosing to be um, celibate. So yeah. Um, this person could be feeling, you know, like I've just cut them off out in the cold, but that's for them to work out. You know, they've got to get to that their own vibration by themselves. I mean, often I would be telling people, um, trying to help people along. I seen um, a meme that said intensive care bear. And it's like, when you're trying to help people, but you're coming across as mean, I would often do that tough love stuff, <laughs> like, and it's, you know, because as a Scorpio, we'll protect you, we'll look after you, we'll fight for you, defend you, we can obsess over you, and it comes across as negative at times. So when somebody can feel rejected, they can feel out in the cold, but um, they just need to know what's being rejected is this sort of energy coming towards me, this I have no interest in, in people who want to, in the retrograde, people would come in very quickly and also leave very quickly in the night of one's energy um, because it's unfinished business. So if you want to deal with it, we don't have to sort this out immediately. We can halt this up and take it very slowly. So the queen of wands. So... <clears throat> Again, somebody who's wanting to take action, but it just could be that um, they're feeling very passionate about communicating now or trying to justify themselves with the Queen of Swords, um, probably seen as my throat chakra has been affected, um, maybe trying to talk to me here. Um, so as well, two queens in the reading, how it resonates to me um, is both sides of, two sides of me here. Like I can be like this fiery, passionate, um, creative um, person here. And I can also be quite cold. So it's like being hot and cold. They could be seeing me as hot, hot and cold and now they feel left out in the cold there. So, shall we get some messages from my angels here? Let's have a look. So, yeah, my ex returned. And I'm healed enough to realise he's not in the high enough vibration to be with me. So, that's why he returned and I felt tested. That now's not the right time. Will it ever be? I don't know. I don't know, but I trust myself to make the decision. <laughs> Omega, victory, your desire is coming to fruition, keep up the good work. So, I feel like I'm on the right track here. You guys let me know what you think about my read and what you think about my ex returning. Good luck, guys.